I grew up convinced I would one day live in a home like these. But when we bought our first house, I found myself with a 1959 ranch style that had never been updated. The fence was falling down and you could barely get to the front door. This is the story of how we made this house into our dream home. It didn't seem to be a very involved project. Remove the flooring, install a new light fixture, get new curtains. But the dining room ended up being one of the most memorable parts of our renovation. Originally, I'd planned to leave the existing, albeit crappy, flooring until I knew exactly what I wanted to replace it with. But while pulling up the carpet from the living room, I noticed the linoleum was peeling up just a little bit, revealing that there was likely hardwood in the dining room as well. That's all it took to spur me into tackling the floor. I had no experience laying a linoleum floor, so I really didn't know what to expect when I pulled it up. I did not expect that it would be nailed down. And the previous owners must have really liked linoleum because after the first layer, I found a layer of wood and then another layer of linoleum. We just pulled up all of this stuff and we are really proud of ourselves. And we have like actually even more to do. We're gonna pull up more. But nothing was as bad as what I found under that. A thick layer of a black tarry substance. I am determined to get back. Well, that wood does look nice under there. Yeah, it does. And so it's all hot water, paint thinner, and a lot of elbow grease. At this point, I didn't even care about the hard wood anymore. I just wanted to beat the tar. Well, it's getting up all that linoleum. But now we have a uh, glue still on the ground. So we spread paint thinner on it, and then we mop it. But look, it's, it's working. I mean, you're getting some beautiful floor. Yeah, but then we have like a residue that we have to wipe down again, and we're running out of rags. But we do have some reward here, so we're going to keep going with it. After destroying a mop, decimating a pile of thrift store towels, and this, I did beat the floor. We plan to have them refinished this summer so that they don't look so rustic. Playing board games with our friends is one of our favorite activities and we wanted to make sure to accommodate that in our house. So when I chose this light fixture, I made sure that the bulbs were facing down for maximum light when planning your strategy. The window and light fixture are not very well situated for where we like to keep our table. So I hung the light fixture a little higher than you would typically see to minimize that difference. We cannibalized the coat closet in order to expand the bathroom. To make up for this, I've installed hooks and we use this bench for storing our shoes. Originally, there was a divider here. It was a lovely mid-century modern piece. It was intended to create an entryway, but the resulting area was very small and always crowded, so I took it down. Lastly, we hung this beautiful door to replace the original beat up one. The lesson we learned here, even when the job looks straightforward, be prepared for the iceberg beneath. Thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe, and join me next time on Renovation Rewind.